spoiler alert, if you aren't caught up, this article might give away part of the storyline of Grey's Anatomy. However, even if you haven't been watching, you probably already know that something tragic happened to all your favorite characters. Read on at your own risk. Star Grey's Anatomy is making its way into season 15 in full swing with absolutely no sign of stopping. It's important for us dedicated viewers to pause and think about why we're still watching the show more than 10 years after it first aired. We've been through heartbreak and trauma with the original cast. They killed off the characters we loved, and now we're left with new doctors who we are unattached to and honestly don't even like very much. Even though Grace Anatomy keeps getting worse, here are some reasons why we still keep watching. We haven't seen her in years, but since Yang is one of the few original cast members who hasn't died on the show, there's still hope. We're hanging on to the wild chance that she makes another appearance. K.I.M. Raver, who plays Teddy Altman, is returning as a regular for season 15. If our second favorite cardiothoracic surgeon can do it, then we can't give up on Christina finding her way back to Seattle Grace Mercy West Hospital just yet. Somewhere in the middle of season 7, Grace Anatomy decided to shake everyone out of their comfort zone and turn an episode into musical mayhem. We at the clock can't get over the fact that they actually thought it was a good idea to have doctors singing behind their masks with scalpels in their hands while operating on an open body. There was a lot of crying in that episode, and we couldn't tell whether it was from the actual story or the singing. We're all for trying things outside the box, even though this time was a huge fail and can't help but wait for them to try something like that again. Flashbacks to the people we miss remember that one episode in which they flash back to scenes from when Derek Shepard, Mark Sloan and George O'Malley were still around. We don't either. With all the sudden deaths on Grey's Anatomy, we never got any actual closure, and we're still waiting for glimpses of better times. It's what we deserve. Alex Karev matured significantly through the show, and we couldn't be prouder. He's been through so much with his messy relationships, family issues, and the anger problems he has with the whole one time I almost got arrested for trying to beat someone to death thing he had going on. We're happy that he found Joe Wilson, and we're still watching to make sure he stays okay. He's one of the originals, and the odds were never in his favor, but he still has our undying support, and we're hoping for the best. Characters may have changed, but whispers in the hospital haven't. Grey's Anatomy keeps its drama at a constant high with constant inappropriate relationships, scandalous secrets and personality-altering brain tumors. It gets so bad that it's funny it was apparent that the writers of Grey's Anatomy were running out of plots when they decided to freeze someone and resuscitate them. But when they chose to freeze a second person. That was the last straw. A self-proclaimed Grey's Anatomy medical experts, even we know that the chances of that happening are slim. You already froze Meredith Grey. We don't know why you're doing it again, but it's so unrealistic that it's entertaining. Whether you're watching because you loved the original characters or you're actually interested in Amelia Shepard and Maggie Pierce, we won't judge, Grace Anatomy still has all of us hooked. There's nothing better than a little bit of Seattle Grace catastrophe and scandal, and we can't wait for the next season.